welcome back to my channel it's me Lana good here so I know you guys are like so angry at me I know you guys are wondering where I've been with my demonstration videos like the derma roller videos that I promised to do every three weeks it's been quite a bit now since I did a video but not really because I have a really good excuse okay so I'm a perfectionist okay with my videos and I actually recorded a three week um, my third session video but that video was just so trash the lighting was so bad I was not gonna put that video up I was not proud of the work that I did I was really tired and I just decided to do that video so it was not gonna go up but I did record my three weeks so technically this is my fourth session but we're gonna say this is my third session for the sake of the timeline on my channel so I do have the 1.5 millimeter derma roller now so we're gonna use the proper derma roller this one guys is a lot sharper it's a lot painful than the 0.5 so you got to be careful I'm gonna talk about all of that in this video I'm gonna answer a couple questions that came to me like I needed to cover that on my channel I think they were like really good questions so I'm gonna answer those questions for you guys really quick okay so the first one that I'm gonna address is not really a question it was more like a comment so someone said vitamin C is not recommended when you're micro needling deep I'm actually going to do my research on that actually let me do the research right now um let me see can you use vitamin C when micro needling so I'm gonna do my research because I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys you know the correct information so it says it is best to wait two to three days after micro needling to start using products with these ingredients so it says using ingredients like glycolic acid retinol and vitamin c too soon after micro needling can irritate your skin and prolong the healing process okay so i did not even know that so it says to wait two or three days after micro needling to start using products like this i'm going to do the research on the vitamin e if we can use that as well so can you use vitamin e after micro needling it says vitamin e is essential for wound repair after micro needling so naturally for this reason it is preferable to use vitamin e after micro needling thank you so much to that subscriber that brought that to my attention i did not know so you guys heard it here don't use the vitamin c right after micro needling because it will irritate your skin use it two to three days after but you could always use the vitamin e so it is safe to use the vitamin e um so yes thank you so much girl for that another question that i saw that i really like i will look for the question and i'll post it here but the subscriber wanted to know if you can use the dry brushing i'm also doing this for the first time so i don't have a lot of the answers to these questions i'm gonna research them with you guys right now so she wanted to know if we can do dry brushing as well as derma rolling at the same time so let me research can i do dry brushing and derma rolling at the same time okay so the reason why most skincare experts recommend to wait a few days to a week before you use the dry brush is because the skin left behind um, after derma rolling is very sensitive which is really true i can't even imagine dry brushing like after derma rolling but can you do it before let's see okay so this question is can I do dry brushing before derma rolling so based on the research that I saw here so it's saying you can actually prepare your skin for dry um, for derma rolling by dry brushing like four to six weeks before you derma roll you don't want to do it too close to derma rolling because you don't want to over exfoliate your skin that's what it says here I will do more research and I will come back to you guys in like maybe the next video to confirm that but thank you so much to that subscriber for bringing that to my attention as well so I like these sessions because I'm able to answer questions and also get clarity for myself and for you guys on you know the proper way to go about these things because again we don't want to mess up our skin we're doing these videos to make our skin better it would be such an annoyance if we actually end up messing our skin up so we got to be very careful we got to be very informed we got to do our research so I'm happy you guys are bringing these questions forward and um, I'm gonna do my best to answer them and to do the research on them okay so now I'm gonna go into the demonstration like I said I have purchased the 1.5 millimeter derma roller and it is not a joke it is no joke okay be careful I don't know how people use 2 millimeter like 2.5 because I feel like my skin will literally just like fall off it is so sharp it's very sharp and it goes deep so I'm like even the 1.5 is really deep like it's really painful um, so don't start off with the 1.5 start off with the 1.0 and then you could kind of like progress if that makes sense so yeah so again i have my derma roller and it's been sitting in alcohol and i do this so that it's sharp and it's like you know disaffected and stuff like that and i'm gonna take like my cotton pad it's the same demonstration guys it's the same thing so i'm gonna take my cotton pad i'm just gonna wipe off the area um, because I applied lotion this morning, so we just want it to be free of residues and products and everything 
and then we can start like the demonstration what do you guys think of my stretch marks is it disappearing is it like looking better comment down below in the description box this is my fourth session of derma rolling but for the sake of the video it is my third okay um, I'm just gonna go based on like the series that I have on my channel and the timeline so that I don't confuse you guys so this is my third session but technically it's my fourth session derma rolling okay so I have my 1.5 millimeter derma roller and I'm gonna start using that oops someone's calling me so I'm gonna use the 1.5 and I'm gonna place that like start to derma roll on my skin okay so we're gonna go one two three four five okay the same thing we've done in other videos this one is really sharp so you want to be very careful oops my hair is in the way okay so so we want to go So we're going to do up and down. And again, we want to do an X motion because we want to disturb the pattern of our stretch marks. So you want to keep doing that. Hey guys, so I lost a lot of clips from this video. Um, so I don't have an outro, but pretty much what I did was I used the derma roller on my skin and I finished off with my vitamin E oil and my shea butter. Um, the next session, which will be the fourth session, I will go into more details. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry for the lost clip, um, but um, I think I have enough details for you guys to kind of carry forward. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.